So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insist. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. Flexing the muscles already, huh? Fine. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? What the? Security! So that's the play, huh? No, no it's not. We're not. We're not killing anyone. Here, your money. And we never want to see or hear from you again. Beating someone in a business deal is one thing. Killing someone is another. This isn't worth spilling blood over. Nothing is. I've never killed anyone over a business deal. I'm not starting today. All right, it's all yours. Just tell your friend not to shoot me in the back on the way out. It's not going to happen. Now get out of here. We're not going to talk about what just happened. It's over, and we won. That's all for me. If you'll excuse this me, was also I need to, to get so out of simple. town. That could have gone better, but at least we have it. I'm not gonna say this twice. Get the hell out of here. So you str our public relations. Your security here. So polite. Am I to assume that? Yeah. Here. Well. One of a kind. I have the amount. Uh-uh. Now how am I... I don't know. Oh, really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just set on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. You trying to steal from me? As you can see, we're in control. Take advantage of our generosity. Take the money. All right. Okay. It's all yours. Hope I never see any of you people ever again. We have it. This couldn't have gone better. Well, it's on. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home. Not interested.
So you struck our public relations. Your security here. Flexing the muscles. Am I to us? Yeah. Well, look at one of a kind. I have the amount. Uh uh. Now how am I supposed? I don't know. Not my problem. It is if you leave empty-handed. We came here in good faith. Now honor our previous agreement. You either figure out a way to give me what I want, or I walk out of here. I'm not hearing here's the money. I'm on a tight timetable. And we would have wrapped up already if you hadn't gotten greedy. Our original offer stands. Now what's it going to be? Uh, I... All right, you win. Hand over the money. This thing is all yours. Well, it's on. So, I don't... Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. Same here. Here we go! Wow. Sending our men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We break off the planet quickly. Slayton is a man of considerable... You're doing Constellation. I used to be an actuary. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. Yes, yes, I'm fully aware this has not gone according to plan. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? Stop right there. Ah. We don't need to do... Hand over, Mr. Is there a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Sending armed men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We better get Slayton has put a bounty on your head. Stop right there. Ah. We don't need to do... Hand over, mister. It's my employer's property. That's all I need to know. You gonna make me shoot you? I think we can work something out. Give me a second to think, will ya? Huh. All right. But Nicholas Slayton isn't a man you want after you. Good luck with that. Sending on men to the Astral Lounge. 
Slayton must be sick. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? What? Security! Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? Well, if my wife and I could gallantly offer your majesty a rescue from certain death, let's go. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Security's on full alert. No point slipping through unnoticed now. You'll have to fight your way to the exit. like this it really makes neon the best place to do business you steal what's mine i attract it as a city you influence what i love you where else can you match with 
Aren't you, in the back of your mind, through the tunnel vision of adrenaline? What's mine? I indirectly have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. I do admit having the co CEO of Stroud Eckland in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes. I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. I yield to your judgment. You've more than proven yourself capable of resisting any course of action I attempt to dictate to you. That seems a bit extreme for the circumstances. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. We have an opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us, but that shouldn't matter. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Slayton took it all. Probably in one of his secure accounts somewhere. I'll settle up with him later. Arbitration, lawyers, all that nonsense. Ten years working in aerospace engineering, and they laid me off. You damn right I stole that thing. They tell you if you have talent and commitment, you can go far. But the truth is it's all about who steals the most and gets away with it. Please, I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all. Even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. Shit. This is not right, and you know it! I'm happy to see that we have a new ruthless competitor in Neon. <laughs> go ahead, kill him. Time to go. Let's talk more back at the ship. Please, you don't have to do this. Uh. 
I believe that ties everything up. Wouldn't you agree, Walter? I'm going to be sick. The famous Stroud Eklund conscience bears its head. <laughs> Don't worry, Walter. You'll be just like the rest of us. This was a good meeting. Very productive. everything to accomplish our goals and more. I don't often get a chance to work in the field. So, thank you. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Hmm. Maybe I can see if he has just a moment. That doesn't sound like something Slayton Aerospace would have the legal authority to do, does it? No, he isn't. I'm afraid we just can't book any more appointments today. Goodbye. Hoping to get a meeting? I've been waiting all day. It's ridiculous. I think we can work something out. I try to be. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. I hear Slayton's had some major layoffs recently. Wait. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter. Uh, taking. Oh, no. Please, be lenient. Justice for some, huh? Fine. Rather be caged than dead. It seems you will have plenty of time to evaluate that sentiment. While you are in jail. I will make the arrangements for Neon Security to take him into custody. You're free to leave. Time to go. Let's talk more back at the ship. I guess I should be grateful you didn't put me I'm on I'm glad ice. we could come to terms. We'll talk back at the ship. Oh, no. Please, I... be lenient. I... Thank you. Use this opportunity to alter the trajectory of your life. You may not receive another chance. 
A rare moment of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. You're free to go. Time to go. Let's talk more back at the ship. Don't worry. You'll never see me again. Feel free to see your way out. A deal with a man who wanted us dead. I guess we can call that a win. What do you think? <laughs> Thank you. I guess. Some people call Issa a jewel, but she's more than that to me. I can't really describe it. There's a me, and a her, and an us. And I wouldn't trade the us for all the credits in Neon. You are very fortunate. And I am glad that you see it. All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me.